the sugar cane aphid that appeared here last year, we tried this to move into sugar cane or, or corn on small uh, plants. However, this didn't happen. However, in the field this year, we found that this sugar cane aphid was feeding on corn and on sugar cane plants. On sugar cane plants, they are uh, reproducing, producing of spring, and it seems that they are developing. On corn, uh, they are producing off spring, but it seems that the off spring is not uh, developing, so they are not going to develop. Right now, I'm not so sure if these are going to be a persistent pest on corn, or maybe they're going to be there from time to time, they're going to be a secondary pest, maybe they are not going to require sprays. However, in sugarcane, uh, these uh, sugarcane aphids, I think they right now become adapted to feeding to this plant. And they're called sugarcane because originally they were found, found in sugarcane plants. So most likely they're going to be there. And the problem is that they are a more efficient vector of a yellow leaf virus compared to the yellow sugarcane aphids. So the disease is here, but this can cause that the disease can be more severe. We don't know yet, but it can happen. In grain sorghum, we observed that there are very high numbers on most of the fields. Uh, right now, um, we have a lot of wing aphids. Uh, they're moving, they're dispersing, uh, and most likely they're going to move uh, northward, Norway. Um, in Corpus Christi, I received notice that they found a lot of wing aphids, and that was after a severe wing uh, pr uh, uh, wind situation. So right now, the growers probably need to continue spraying. Maybe they're going to require up to three sprays during the growing season, and hopefully they're going to be able to have good yields. Uh, if they are not sprayed, uh, the sugarcane aphid can decrease the yield. In addition to that, they are going to, uh, the growers may have problems during harvest because the sugarcane aphid produce abundant honeydew, and this honeydew is sticky. It falls into the leaves, and the leaves, when the combined pass, they are going to uh, have problems uh, uh, clogging the machines. So the machines need to be stopped and they are not going to need to be cleaned, there are going to be a big delay on harvesting and repairing machines.